Well, hello there, viewers, and welcome once again to the Shamblecraft server. And you join me down here in my little crafting corner where I have actually been spending some time looking over the supplies from our previous adventure. Ventures. So you might remember from the last episode that we ended up gathering, we gathered up a whole bunch of gear and some litres. And what I have done now is that I have created two uh, shulker boxes. One is going to go to Azriana, one is going to go to K, and these are going to have some items in them. So what we're going to do, we need to put uh, armour in one of them, we're going to put the elytra in the other. And I feel ooh, I forgot we we're also going to put a sword and a pick and a shovel. There we go. So that one goes to Azriana. For those of you wondering, hey, Fally, you're giving away a lot of things to Azriana. What has Azriana done to be so nice to deserve this sort of attention from you? Well, she married me. Now you know the price. So... There you have it. That is a prize for Azriana. And we also have a little prize for Kay. Kay didn't go end raiding, so Kay did not have an Elytra yet. And ooh, I just realised we actually nearly forgot. We are going to have to get another one ready as well for NJ. So we're going to call that one NJ's box. For those of you wondering, hey, why aren't you giving Sammy one? That is because, well, Sammy already did go end raiding so sammy already has this so this is gonna also have an elytra where did i put it did i put it in here yes i did so we're gonna put an elytra in nj's box but we are gonna make sure we get that enchanted as well so that means heading over to the spawn area and the bookshop the italian bookshop oh okay i'm never gonna do that accent again sorry Please don't cancel me, Italy. I love your food. So what we're going to do, we're going to head over to the spawn area and get some books so that we... Oh, that is just hello. We're going to be going over to that spawn area. We're going to go to that Italian bookshop and we're going to be getting ourselves some books. Yeah. Well, okay then, you join us at the Italian bookstore once again, and as you can see here, we have completed NJ's box, meaning we have all of those ready. However, we are going to be needing some more stuff here, because as you can see, while our gear is not all that bad, we still don't have mending on our hat, and we don't really have any good enchantments on our legs. So, uh, And also we need sweeping edge on our sword, and a couple of other things. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be spending a couple of diamonds here at the bookshop. So uh, you remember this, probably remember this from last time. We're going to do one uh, sweeping edge and we're also going to do one looting. Uh, diamond tools. Oh, oh yeah, these are basic. All right, so mm, power fee and glass. Okay. Thorns, do we want? We already have thorns protection. Four feather form of a depth of respiration. Three, we already have that. Uh, okay, what do we have already? We have projectile protection. We have general protection. We have general protection. I feel like fire protection is something that would be very nice to have because we don't have much of that yet. So, was there fire protection anywhere? Or are they sort of all in here? Okay, so there's no books for that. All right. Well, what we're going to do then? We're going to go with the, with the general protection. I think. Oh, we can try and enchant. You know what we're going to do? We're going to we're going to actually, we're actually going to buy two sets of diamond legs, and we're going to try and enchant them over at the enchanting. I was going to say, but we only have one level. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to put the books and the stuff in our in our chest here and what we're going to do we're gonna actually going to come back to this later but at least now we have the looting of the sweeping edge for the sword we have the unbreaking we forgot to buy the mending mending one two three there we go that should do it and one two 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 uh, that should do it all right we'll put all of put all of this in all right 
and the chest stays on our person and we are pretty much good to go right so what we need to do then back to the base get some more levels deliver these shelter boxes to njk and asriana and then we can finally get working on the plans we actually have for this episode and with that the errands have been taken care of so we have a shulker box of things delivered to k a shulker box delivered to nj and a shulker box delivered to azriana and with the remaining stuff i've basically just sorted through it it looks like chaos because that's what it is and we've also finished up some enchanting so we now have fully enchanted for most of these things however there is one thing troubling me that we are going to be getting to in a second but first i want to show you all something over here and that is yes sammy has finished the super smelter so we now have a fully functioning smelter system which is very very nice so thank you very much sammy sammy built this during uh, her stream if you haven't checked out sammy's streams make sure you do the link to her twitch is in the description she doesn't make videos but she does my uh, stream uh from uh, from shamblecraft on west coast friendly times and i've also started putting in a little bit of items here so basically so far we have general end stuff general moss stuff this is probably going to be nether this is tools and armor this is mob drops this is crops and greenery we have cobblestone we have dirt and we're probably going to have like grass deep slate etc etc uh to sort of fill that out and yeah as i said in the previous clip we need to get on with what we want to do in this episode and basically this episode singular and that is basically three things i really want to get done uh the first of all is i really want to start work on this zombie spawner which is going to be fairly simple it's going to be building something quite similar to what we did with the skeleton thing in episode five but uh yeah, this is going to be slightly different because one of the things I want to connect to this is uh, an automatic sorter that takes out all the rotten flesh and cooks it to leather, at least most of it. And the reason for that is that we have a resource pack that lets us, or a data pack that lets us cook rotten flesh into leather. The second thing is that I want to do some improvements to sort of the access to this place as i've been saying for a while i really really want to get another portal here so what i'm thinking is that i want another portal pretty much here in this corner i think this corner here is going to function well as an entrance so basically use this framework here and make some sort of portal in there that leads us straight in here and thirdly as you can probably tell we are now on diamond gear we have a beautiful diamond helmet we have diamond legs diamond boots we even have a swish pair of diamond plated elytra with thorns and protection and things and excitement but you might notice that all of these are blue the only purple is the main pickaxe and i'm thinking we have been on this server for long enough now that we really need to get netherite because let's be fair this is actually almost embarrassing um we've barely been to the nether like with the exception of making the nether tunnel i actually haven't really been to the nether other than to do a little bit of quartz mining and glowstone mining so we haven't really done a proper trip to the nether yet and i honestly think that is a bit embarrassing so that is actually what we're going to be doing first we are going to be doing a little bit of the grindy grind we're going to be heading over to the nether and we're going to see if we can get enough ancient debris that we can upgrade our kit to netherite and hopefully the next time you see me after a time lapse if i add a time lapse 
Future Fally, make some sort of cheeky edit here to sort of signify whether or not I actually ended up making a time lapse. Yes, you did! Yes, you did! You know what to do. Cheeky edit. Find something on YouTube. You'll do fine. I trust you. I believe in you. Anyway, netherite. Well, all right then, peeps, as you can see from the massive hole here, we have been digging away for a couple of hours, and it is, excuse me, personal space. We've been digging here for a while, and it has been very fruitful. So if I open my inventory, you will see that we have actually managed to get 24 ancient debris in addition to a whole bunch of netherrack and other things so in addition to what's on me right now we've probably left like 150 stacks of netherrack just floating around here because honestly i don't need them oh look nj it's one of your one of your buddies um we haven't uh, we've left about 100 probably 100 stacks at least of of uh, netherrack around the place but we've also had to go to our base once and drop off our stuff and uh, mend our picks. But with 24 ancient debris, that is actually going to give us 6 ingots. Meaning we can uh, upgrade all 3 armors, a piece of armor. We can upgrade our secondary pick. And we'll still have a uh, an ingot or two to spare. So... Uh, yeah, that means we can get a lot of our kit sorted. I'm thinking we're going to do armor, pick, and possibly the shovel and the sword, maybe. I think the axe isn't that important right now. But yeah, that is basically the plan right now. So with that, I am going to head back to the base. I'm going to dump the stuff that we don't need. I'm going to get some ingots cooked. And hopefully the next time you see me, I have changed colour just ever so slightly. Well, okay then. We have just finished smelting up the ancient debris and crafting it. And as you can see, we've ended up with seven netherite ingots. So, that means we can now upgrade our gear. Which is going to be very nice. And we are going to upgrade our silk touch pickaxe we are going to upgrade our sword and we're actually going to have enough to upgrade our shovel and our axe however i really want that challenge yeah yeah. I believe that was the right call. We can always get more ingots. And uh, as promised in the previous clip, ba-boom. I am purple. I am all sexy like. Well then, with the gear and kit situation taken care of, we, all we need to do now is mend the uh, silk pick here. And uh, we also need to get one more ingot for that axe. Uh, but with that, we are very much set, really. We are going to put 
the last few bits of our spoils into this uh, shulker box. We're going to put the gold in there as well. And what we're going to, we're just going to leave that shulker box there. I mean, me leaving shulker boxes around has never led to anything before, hasn't it? So, yeah, that is basically that taken care of. We have our kit sorted. We have uh, really gotten a good start to this. But there is one more thing at least. Looking at the time, we might actually be running a bit uh, short on time here for me to get everything done. So I might have to save something for the next episode. But there's one more. Oh. Thank you, Netherite Fairy. Bye. Anyway, thank you very much, Mickness. That means we can do this. Hey, that's all of it. Nice. Thank you very much, Mickness, for the ingot. Uh, with that taken care of, we are actually now fully kitted. And, uh, yeah, I am very happy with that. But as I was saying, there is one more project we really need to turn our attention to for this episode. And that is, as I just told my stream, because this is currently being recorded on a stream, uh, as much as I love the community build, it is a bit of a hassle to have to go through it every single time I am going back and forth. So I think the next project... and. Um, definitely the most important thing to take care of right now is that I really want to get the portal set up right here so I need to make sure I have enough obsidian we're then going to build up a portal on this side make it look fancy and then we need to also build up the same portal on uh, the nether side of things and looking at the map I think we are going to line up on that axis. Not too bad. We're going to have to go a tad. I mean, there's the path. There's the portal pretty much. So we're going to have to. We're going to have to go a bit off to the side. But we should be able to connect with our existing tunnel without issue. So what I'm going to do. I am going to gather up the materials that we need and uh, I am going to be setting up our new additional nether portal and see if we can make it look just a little bit pretty. And there you have it peeps, just like that with some swish block placement and some back and forth, we now have a new fancy nether portal set up in the corner here so going through that that will take us you can see we also cover the back of it that will now take us through to here and as you can see we have a lovely tunnel here that is reminiscent of the base design we have moss we have mossy cobble and we have the cobble deep slate and we have an ice path with the carpet in the middle with some um, some of these things I can't remember the name of and some glowstone in the roof to light it up and uh, we have a sign here saying Fally and Sammy this way we replace the snow and the the bushes that we uh, broke so we now have a very nice little intersection here between the various bits and bobs complete with armed guards and everything but yeah so that is the tunnel done meaning it is now much quicker for us to get between the bases which is going to be very very practical so heading into the portal again we will be brought back to the base so that is basically this section of the base is now starting to look pretty much i'm not going to say fully finished because we're probably going to be some there's going to be some tinkering here and there. But we now have a little crafting station, enchanting station. Sammy has built up the smelter. We have a basic storage system right here. And we have the nether portal here. And uh, yeah, that is basically this entire sort of western edge of the cave base done. And uh, yeah, 
not all too bad for a couple of hours work but uh, yeah I'm saying yeah a lot yeah yeah so yeah I think the next project actually looking at the time and looking at everything I think that is actually gonna be it for this place right here for now because there are a couple of things I want to take care of up top before I leave you for this episode so why don't we head topside and I'll show you what I'm talking about so as we fly over our little pier and back to our sort of community base there are some things that should be taken care of some upgrades here and there but luckily there are four of us so we can split them nice and evenly between us this is still a bit sus it, very much sus and one of the things that i want to do is that while we now have a nether portal connecting everything i would love to have this sort of community area uh, directly connected to our base and um, what I am thinking is that right here we have the original wheat farm which was built up basically very early day one just so we could have a place out to get some food and what I would love to do and I think NJ has actually been talking out about this is that it would be nice if we could move this slightly because right now it's encroaching on a bunch of space here and one thing you know what i'm actually going to move some of these bushes because i put them there uh what i would love to do and what we've actually been talking a little bit about is to make a path that follows the coast down to where me and sammy live because that would mean that whoever comes to the base instead of having to go back to the nether or grab a boat or something they can just follow a path that will take them down here and we could either terraform here we could build a little bridge we can flatten the terrain a bit um we don't really know i mean whatever create wherever the creative juices take us and we will eventually be brought down here where we have the pier that we built a couple of episodes ago and that of course then has the path that takes us over to sammy so with this uh with this we would then have like a walkway for people who don't necessarily want to, to grab a boat or people who want to to fly or go back to the nether and i mean let's be let's be perfectly clear it also looks good from an aesthetic point of view and it would be sort of in keeping as well with, I mean, what we've already started. We have NJ over here who's built a bridge across the river. So I think it would make sense to keep a path connecting everything. So basically what that means is that we need to clear away at least some of this farm. I'm not going to clear away all of it because I think NJ has a plan for this. But uh, you can sort of see that there is a natural path starting here. So I'm thinking if we can clear away about a five block width along the coast here, we could just move the fence, move the crops, and we should be good. So, um, yeah, why don't I get my shovel ready and we'll head in to another little time lapse of us building up the new path.
Well, okay, you join me once again here at the farmhouse in this lovely, lovely Norwegian weather we're having here, fittingly enough. And if I head over here, you will see... I mean, it's not like you already saw it in the time-lapse, but you will see that we have actually succeeded in creating a lovely little path. So we might extend that to just become a bridge. I'll have to look at that. Uh, so now if you follow the path, we've put up some light fixtures. We actually did that. Uh, I actually can't remember if I included that in time-lapse and I recorded that like five minutes ago. So we've put up some sugar cane. We've put up some, some lamp posts. We have put down a nice little path. And we now have a very sort of simple, nice, lovely walk from A to B. So we can now move from the community area over to where we live. Okay. Okay, so Guardian Farm Collab, Green, High Sign, Elvin and Vin, I assume, Guardian Collab, you, you know DMs also work, just letting you know Vin, it's, it's 2022, there are other modes of communication than Birch Signs. Anyway, so this uh, path here is looking very, very nice and lovely, taking us now all the way from our base up here to the community area, which is looking very good. Uh, cut away most of the fence and moved it. Still have a bunch of the farm here. And uh, yeah, it's, it's starting to look good. I also put a, I don't know if you noticed that, but I also put a dragon head on the farm. So it now has a nose. I mean, that, play, that thing already looks so ridiculous. I might as well make it more ridiculous. But yeah, that is pretty much it. So what we're going to do, since it's raining, we're going to take to the skies here using our Finnish Trident. And we're going to get a good look at how this looks. Let's see if we can get a cool screenshot, actually, of it. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Let's see if we can get a cool screenshot from over here. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. I like it. And, yeah, that is pretty much it. I'm very happy with how that looks. Very happy. Right, so now there is, now we have a nether portal. We have a path. I mean, getting over to me and Sammy's base has never been easier. And, uh, yeah, that is some progress really, really done for this episode. And with that, I think we are going to call it a night. So, once again, thank you very, very much for watching this episode. Uh, if you like what you see, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Feel free to share it with a friend. And, uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. I don't think I have anything more to add. So, I will catch you in the next episode. Bye!